Thompson's coming over from the Phoenix Suns last February. And here we go. Thunder winners of three consecutive coming off of that blowout victory against the Denver Nuggets on Friday night. And away we go. Trying to spread out that Brooklyn defense. Shea being defended by Finney Smith. Turns around on the fadeaway. No good. They've been vulnerable. And now it's Bridges. Look at Shea just trying to probe the defense. Giddy passed up the three, instead pushes it up and drops it in. And we saw that a couple of times in Denver. Spencer Dinwiddie never afraid to shoot from the outside. He's been a scorer his entire career. What a move. SGA slipped inside and then flicked it up with the left hand. Brooklyn off to a perfect start from the floor, five for five. Not miss, missed the shot yet. And Shea once again going around Bridges in that time. Got it right to the rim. As Shea sees a lane, drives inside, and he gets fouled. The two free throws for SGA. Come see the Thunder take on the East leading Boston Celtics here at Paycom Center on Tuesday, January 2nd at 7 p.m. It's the offensive side, it's the defensive side. You see the numbers third in the NBA in points per game, how he's orchestrated what Oklahoma City has done this season. Creating open looks for their teammates. Something you, you just got to continue to do on a night-to-night -night basis. Shea spinning on the shot. Fade away, no good. Wiggins just out hustling everybody. Got it over there, but he saved it. Reminds me of an old Detroit Piston player. Vinny, microwave. Instant buckets. And there's an instant bucket on the other end. SGA once again on the dive from Jalen Williams. Just making those quick decisions to initiate the offense as O'Neal's three is off. Shea that time ran right into the defensive player. That's a rare turnover for him. Of competitiveness and togetherness, which has been really encouraging, guys. All right, thank you, Paris. Particularly on the road, hard to dig yourself out of big double-digit holes. That's been one of the keys so far for Oklahoma City this year. What you talked about, he is just instant offense. Shea. Bounces off of Dennis Smith. Left it a little bit short. They shoot the ball that well. You know they're not going to stay at that clip. They just continue to tighten up the reins. As the game wears on, 68% shooting. 13 for 19, and it's still just an eight-point game. Shea spins in and make it a six-point game. Yeah. On the other end, you had SGA finding his way through that Brooklyn defense, and Dennis Smith Jr. with to get the final shot. Bridges using that big body of Claxton. Line drive shot shape. Down as far as he can. Smith once again defending. Shea bowls his way right to the rim. Well, that is a mismatch. This game has been pretty tight here, folks. Already approaching the four-minute mark of this second quarter. That's been their bread and butter so far. There's nine made threes from downtown. To gather himself, yeah. I think it's a yeah. common courtesy, a collective common courtesy. I think it's almost mandatory, too. <laughs> Here in the first half, Shea remains perfect to the free throw line. Dinwiddie ships it outside. Finney Smith wide left, no good. Mark Jagano has a system. These guys understand what the base system is. They play from that. Defend, run, and rebound. Offensive rebound. The Nets will run a little bit more offense. Dinwiddie finds an open man. Bridges, cross-court pass. Misses two in a row. Flaxed in the rebound. Dinwiddie, oh, a little scoop shot. He tried to go high off the window. That's good defense by the Thunder also. Shea to an open shooter, Isaiah Joe. That three is good. Yeah, they're not getting a lot of leverage inside that painted area as you talked about. Jay off that stop and pop, no good. And now the Nets with the shot blocked off can take this down to the end of the first half. And I don't know if Jason Wallace wanted to do that. Just to control with the basketball too, as he's now eight for eight at the free throw line. He's made back the momentum from the Nets who had a strong first quarter. Thunder's first quarter wasn't bad either. But they'll go into the halftime now. SGA had those 17 points in the first half. Looking for more here. Pulls up. Not 
going to get it that time. Kel Bridges and Holmgren had a little space there, couldn't get it to drop. Not yet midway through the third. Finney Smith from the outside. They haven't been there in quarters two and three. Shea sees a crowd. Holmgren, a little ball fake for the three, and he catches it in. Claxton, left hand no good. And it pops over to Giddy. Up ahead, SGA, two on one, gives it up. Jaden is able to put it down. Getting out on the fast break, that is a really hard shot. Giddy goes behind his back, it's another three on one. SGA had the step on Finney Smith, and the lead grows up to double. Nets have not given up a whole lot of points off turnovers. Brooklyn does not turn it over. They are a secure basketball team. SGA wants the step back three and got the step back three. That's going to be three points off that turnover. That's tough to do. Shea goes left, pulls up on the baseline. That's one of his sweet spots. The movement at basketball playing off of each other. Shea once again sees a little space for the three. And they run sharp another rebound. Sharp decides to go left. Thomas is going to have to hurry. SGA was all over him, but commits the foul. Point lead. Thomas wants a screen. Going to get it from Claxton going left. He'll step back into that three. No good. Shea. A New Year's Eve tradition inside Paycom Center. Another victory. Mark Dagnall, a little handshake with Jock Vaughn. These two teams are going to meet next week at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn.